Carlos, how do you wrap your head around tonight? <laughs> um, you don't. It's terrible. Why do you think you struggled to, to really find the strike zone and gain consistency? Um, yeah, I mean, it was just pulling balls down the middle. Um, just didn't find my lane, and they, uh, yeah, they hit the ball. Why do, you, why do you think your velocity was down as well? I don't know. I, uh, you know, I tried to step on a little bit. I was getting a little angry and, you know, just trying to compete, and it's kind of what I had. I wish I would have had the secondary. Probably need to go to that sooner, and, um, you know, yeah, but that wasn't falling in the strike zone either, so nothing was really working. There were no physical issues tonight? No, no, I didn't. No, there wasn't any. There was, I wouldn't lie about that. There wasn't any. I uh, I felt fine. Um, I guess the vo I didn't think that I was going to have, you know, the velocity being down, but it was, and, yeah, just got beat. You've expressed your frustration before with parts of this season. Just yeah. how do you sum it all up? Um, yeah, pretty disappointing. Um, there's not much else to say about it. I mean, whenever, you know, your performance is bad, it's never easy to flush, you know. Um, yeah. Do you look at it as just a weird start to the season with the injuries and, and took time to get going, or, or is it more to it than that, that you really need to do a deep dive in your mechanics and what you're doing? Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to make any ex excuses about, you know, starting injury, starting off the season with injury, and, you know, my job is to show up and compete when uh, when I'm available. Um, unfortunately, that was halfway through the season, and, you know, there was some okay starts sprinkled in, but most of it was pretty bad. Um, just one of those things we're looking, definitely looking forward to next year, that's for sure. Could you, could you take us through your interaction with Matt Blake on the mound? Yeah, I mean, I was just frustrated. He was trying to come out and help, and, I mean, it was kind of one of those things where it was just like, I mean, there's just obviously frustrated with the situation. I've given up five runs on five hits. I think I walked a guy and couldn't get it out in the first inning, and, yeah, it wasn't good. Going into the offseason, is there any particulars you want to focus on? Yeah, I mean, I just... Kind of just looking forward to taking a little bit of time to myself and uh, getting away from baseball. And then, you know, when the time's right, hopefully in a couple weeks after that, I'll get back to, to training and just, you know, really focus on what I'm going to do on the mound, how I want to move on the mound and, and, and find my move um, and really establish that when, when spring training comes around. Well, I'm sure it wasn't your intention, but turning your back on Matt, on Matt do you think it could have been seen as disrespectful to him? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was. Uh, it wasn't great. Um, definitely not the best move, but uh, it shouldn't happen. I was, uh, like I said, I was frustrated with myself and my performance. Um, really embarrassing. And then doing that with Matt, you know, coming out trying to help me, I, I turned my back. I was just, you know, not not in the right mind. That's for sure. That's on me. Said anything to Matt since then? Not yet. I, you know, I wanted to, to cool off, and you know, I'm sure he's not very happy with me right now, and I'll give him a second.